I was in Florida earlier this month, and I was lucky enough to get the opportunity to go to Jack Brown Seaplane Base and fly their Icon A5. Jack Brown's is a pretty famous seaplane base, so I felt very fortunate to be able to fly here. People come from all over the world just to get their seaplane ratings here. We took off from the runway at Winter Haven Airport because the ramps at the seaplane base are a little too steep and the Icon A5 sits very low to the ground on its wheels. That's a pretty common theme for it. When you're landing on the runway or you're landing on water, by the time you round out, uh, you don't really flare, you land very flat. But by the time you round out, you're very close to the water or ground, especially the water. It's a pretty uh, interesting thing to get used to. I didn't quite have enough time to fully get used to it, so I just sort of sucked at it. Uh, I wish I had another couple hours to fly the airplane. It'd feel like it'd be very fast to get used to it. And it would be very fun once you do get used to it. my first landing attempt. I uh, rounded out really late and just sort of skipped off the water. So we did a really fast splash and go. keep the power in and land a little long on this one because you can see there's a jet skier out in front of me and uh, they were zigzagging back and forth I want to make sure we were past them with no way for them to interfere with our landing.
wish the water would have been a little bit calmer because it would have been a lot of fun to do some step taxi turns. But as it was, uh, with about 10 knots of wind, the water was pretty rough and uh, step turns probably would have been pretty bouncy. Either way, we never got the chance because before too long we hit butt wake and launched us into the air. see really good examples of wind streaks in this video. There's these parallel lines uh, that run with the wind that form on the top of the water, sort of lines of foam. You can see them running parallel with the direction I'm going. They'll start to form about 8 to 10 knots and they'll show you the wind direction. You just have to figure out where the wind is coming out of. Shutting the engine down and floating around in the middle of a lake is always a lot of fun on any seaplane. But after that, it was time for us to head on back because our one hour of flight time was almost done. Florida around uh, Kissimmee or Winter Haven. Even if you're not a pilot, I suggest going by Jack Brown's and taking a flight with them. There's dozens of lakes right nearby the airport, so a one hour flight you could splash around to probably five different lakes easily. There you go. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs>